Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we'll be learning how to resolve availability group listener errors. And there are a couple errors that I have put down here. Uh, if you encounter any of these errors, this video is going to help you. The first error right here is the WSFC. When you try to create availability group listener, you will get this error that uh, WSFC cluster could not bring network name resource with DNS name and whatever your uh, AG listener name is online. The DNS name may have taken or have conflict and it's a big message. Um, and if you get this message, this video is going to help you resolve that. The number two, uh, after you get this message, particular first message, and you go look into Event Viewer, you will see this error basically that will help you to uh, resolve the issue to basically find out what is the um, root cause of this uh, error one issue, which is cluster network name resource yeah, up here listener name would be your listener name whatever you're trying to give the name and trying to create the ag group listener name and fail to create its associated computer object in domain and that would be your domain during uh, resource online so these uh, error messages um, basically relate to a same issue which is the issue is you cannot uh, create uh, availability group listener um, so let's go ahead and resolve this error first we're going to go ahead and see that if we get this error when we create availability group listener and then we'll go from there here is a uh, one of my server right here um, this is my uh, tech brother sql sql prod and i have created uh, availability group here uh, and uh, i'm going to go ahead and create a listener group which is right here um, listener DNS name I have uh, put down here TBS AG listener port 1433 and I have given the static IP now when I click OK it gives me error which I have shown you in the first screen and it's a big error and we're going to go ahead and take care of that error as you can see right here we got this error and if you get this error you can go ahead and click OK in order to make sure that uh, what exactly is the issue you can go ahead and open event viewer and in event viewer I have already pulled this information you will see this error uh, right here if I go up here cluster network name and that would be your uh, AG name uh, up here your availability group plus your listener fail to create its associated computer object in domain that means that it's not having the permission to create the object because whenever you create uh, ag listener it creates object in your dns so that means that it doesn't have a permission to create um, any entry in your dns and we're going to go ahead and take a look on that so uh, usually being a dba if you don't have permission to go on look in dns this you can send this video uh, or this video link to your uh, system administrator and they can watch and resolve this for you so let's go ahead and close this and I'm going to go ahead and go in my DNS so here is my DNS Tech Brothers DNS and uh, you need to go ahead and open your uh, Active Directory right here and keep in mind that all my container all my um, servers right here in my Active Directory are listed right here under computers so if you have a sub directories under computer like a test prod um, and dev servers and you have categorized uh, with the subcategories of computers it's not gonna matter that if you go ahead and give permission on dev prod in subcategories main thing I wanted to make sure that uh, you uh, come up here in computers this is the main object that is going to give us hassle and it is giving us hassle in this error that it cannot create the object in even though uh, if you look into the detail it will it'll tell you that it needs to be the same container where your other cluster in my case is TBS cluster that is created in let's say in subdirectory uh, production then you will think that uh, that container is main issue that container uh, uh, TBS cluster um, needs to have permission um, to create the object in that container not in computers but main thing is it's computers it's not the sub sub containers uh, basic container is computers so let me go ahead and uh, 
start from the scratch. So when you once you come to computers, you can look at computer and right click on the computer and go to properties. You will get this right here, computer properties, nothing but just a property of your folder. You can go ahead and cancel this. You can go in the view and click on advanced features. As soon as you will click on advanced features, you will see more feature on the right and uh, on the left and right pan right here you will see that more features now you can go ahead and right click on the computers and go to properties this way you will get a security where we need to get to the security of this container called computers we need to get to that security so I am in the security right here most of the time you will see that uh, uh, your whatever your um, cluster name is in my case is TBS cluster so the object the problem that we have in the object if you uh, look back in the error uh, that uh, it's a TBS cluster and then dollar whatever your cluster name is and the dollar that is the object that doesn't have permission to create um, AD um, uh, that particular so let's go ahead and remove this just for the sake of um, um, reproducing the whole thing so I'll go and right click on computers go to properties go to the security you will see that um, uh, your cluster name dollar is not in this list right here so basically what you need to do if you don't see that up here in that list in TBS a cluster dollar in my case or whatever your cluster name dollar that object you don't see in group or user names then you need to look for that in order to do that you need to go ahead and click on add and you need to click on object types and see up here the computers are not selected you need to click on computers as well this container needs to be uh, in order to look for that particular object so let's go ahead and click OK and now I'm going to go ahead and this is my cluster name all you need to do is put your cluster name and click dollar in the end this is the object that is basically going to is is going to be a problem and it is a problem for us and keep in mind that you can also get this particular information from your event viewer if you dig down into this error more so this video is basically you don't need to go too far I'm just trying to tell you right here that it is going to be your cluster name and dollar sign so let's go ahead and check the name as you can see right away it came your TBS cluster so that is good we found the object we're gonna go ahead and click OK so right now this uh, TBS cluster has read permission that is OK uh, it needs to have read permission but we in order to fix this we need to go in advance click on cluster right here and need to go in advance right here so it'll pull up the advanced um, properties of TBS cluster dollar and that's where we need to see that if it has permission right here uh, right here it has read permission but what it needs if you click on edit TBS what it needs is read permission all this permission and you can go in see computer um, create and delete computer objects that's what um, we need to find right here is create computer object keep in mind it's right here create computer objects and then delete computer objects these are the two permission that we're going to select basically it's complaining right now that it cannot create the computer objects but uh, it's a safe to do create computer object and delete computer object to that particular uh, 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 user so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see that it has read permission as well that it has create and delete computer object permission so we're going to go ahead and click apply and OK and OK so this is all we need to do and now we can go back to um, our um, AG listener and try to create our AG listener again so let's go ahead go to that server here's our AG listener we're trying to create so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and let's see that if gets successful
as you can see, we were able to create uh, the availability group listener uh, and we resolved that error. So basically this is it. This is how you resolve these two errors. If you ever encounter these two errors, please follow these directions and I'm sure I'm positive that it will resolve your issue. And I hope this video helps.